Meanwhile, back in China, it's a day of mourning. Their former premier, Li Keqiang, has died. He suffered a heart attack and passed away about 10 minutes after midnight. He was 68 years old. Li Keqiang was just beginning to enjoy his retirement. He stepped down from the post of premier in March this year, ending a decade of being sidelined and silenced. You see, Li Keqiang was not like the rest of China's top leadership. He was one of Xi Jinping's, he was not one of Xi Jinping's yes-men. Rather, he was a remnant of the bygone times, an, e an economic pragmatist, loyal to Xi Jinping's predecessor, Hu Jintao. At one point, he was even considered a potential rival to Xi. Perhaps that's why there's been a muted response to Li Keqiang's death so far. Our next report tells you the full story. China's former premier, Li Keqiang, has passed away. He had a heart attack last night. On October 26th, he suffered a sudden heart attack. After all-out efforts to revive him failed, he died in Shanghai at 10 minutes past midnight on October 27th at the age of 68. The 68-year-old Li was in Shanghai when it happened. Many in China are mourning his passing. As a Premier, Li made great contribution to our economy. His death is a big loss. He really accompanied the growth of our generation. And that's how it feels in my heart. I just suddenly heard this news from you. My mind has gone blank and I was really sad. Many are praising Li's economic contributions. Those who have found a way to talk about him at least. China seems to be cracking down on mourners. Beijing doesn't want an outpouring of grief transforming into criticism. Li Keqiang was a celebrated economist. In fact, he was once known for a brand of development called Li Economics. He had found a way to measure China's growth accurately despite muddled numbers from the ground. It was dubbed the Li Keqiang Index and was taken as a sign of his vision. He was considered a liberal who wanted to open up China's economy. He wanted to reduce China's wealth gap and modernize its trade. Beijing seems afraid of people remembering Li's economic acumen and comparing it to the economy's current state of freefall. Li Keqiang also had his flaws. He is thought to have underplayed an HIV-AIDS epidemic while he was governing China's Henan province. And he didn't give space to activists or the media. But there were still high hopes for him when he first became premier in 2013 hopes that he would continue on the path set by China's former presidents, Hu Jintao and Jiang Zemin. These were the leaders who presided over China's greatest period of continuous economic growth. And people thought Hu Jintao's protégé, Li, would keep the ball rolling. Some expected him to succeed his mentor as president. But unfortunately for Li, he faced one major obstacle, Xi Jinping. Xi became China's president after Hu Jintao. Li had to settle for the second most powerful position in China, that of Premier. But that's when it all started to unravel for him. If we go back 10 years ago, when Premier Li Keqiang first came to power, we were talking about this notion of Xi-Li era, uh, when the general secretary and the Premier both yield significant power. However, in the last few years, increasingly we're only talking about Xi Jinping, and certainly we see that reflected in media discourse as well, when they talk about the Xi Jinping new era. Xi doesn't take kindly to those challenging his authority. All rivals get silenced. Li Keqiang met a similar fate. Xi Jinping slowly stripped him of his authority and power, instead of allowing him to spread his Li economics. Xi formed and chaired a committee which overruled the premier. This was in the first year of his premiership, and this stifling continued for 10 years. A recent example is COVID, the Premier wanted to keep China's economy running. He cautioned against the excesses of Xi Jinping's zero-COVID policy. But the President paid him no heed. Xi Jinping sidelined Li Keqiang like he did with former President Hu Jintao. Some of you may remember this uncomfortable moment from the Chinese Communist Party Congress last November. That's the former President being escorted out. As he leaves, you see Hu Jintao giving a friendly gesture to one person. The person was his one-time protégé, Li Keqiang. That Congress was when Li decided to step down from the party's senior leadership. He didn't seek to retain the premiership this March either. Perhaps he knew that there was no point, because the China of today is moulded in Xi Jinping's image, 
and there's no room for anyone else.